shivering state of Maine gets the full impact of the most brutal winter in years. Four feet of snow that drifted into piles many times as deep were dumped by raging blizzards that swept across the entire Northeast. Bangor was the worst hit city with schools, theaters, and even newspapers closed down. Many cars are completely buried. This owner takes his time digging out. Why rush when there's no place to go over the impassable roads anyway? The Weather Bureau says the freak weather was caused by the blocking effect of a low pressure area. Lacking the usual strong winds to carry them off to sea, the clouds dropped their whole load of snow on the land. Anybody who says winters aren't what they used to be is right, they're worse. Sunny Barcelona isn't quite that today, as she suffers the snows and icy winds that howled out of Siberia to paralyze much of Europe. The palm trees and the Plaza Real bear a strange and heavy weight. People here are not used to coping with winter. In the harbor, the Caravel Santa Maria is ice-locked, while her sister ship, Nina 2, sails tropical waters. Throughout Europe, coal supplies dwindle, power lines are felled, and communications disrupted or cut off completely. All along the usually balmy Mediterranean, places that didn't get snowstorms get hailstorms, and those that don't get hailstorms get thunderstorms. Nobody has ever seen anything like it. It's the worst winter in a hundred years of weather records in Great Britain. A rapid succession of blizzards pile the snow up faster than the people can dig out. At least 17 deaths are reported, and many more are feared from exposure and from traffic deaths on the icy roads, though very little traffic is moving. This sort of tug of war is a common sight. Despite hay lifts by truck or air, thousands of farm animals perish. These are lucky to be in accessible, though frozen, pastures. The future outlook is as bleak as the landscape, for weathermen say Britain's winters are getting progressively colder. From 1896 to 1938, there were only two severe winters. Since World War II, there have been six. Tracks are kept clear so trains can carry food, fuel, and medical supplies to isolated regions. This is indeed a winter to remember, though not with any particular pleasure. <laughs>